welcome back to a brand new video where today we're talking about the PlayStation 4 Pro and the exclusive feature which the PlayStation 4 Pro has. If you guys didn't know, in the upcoming release of the latest system update for the PlayStation 4 Pro, there will be a new exclusive feature called the PS4 Boost Mode, which may convince you to buy a PlayStation 4 Pro. If you currently have a PlayStation 4, this might convince you to buy a PS4 Pro. And if you're new to gaming or just want to buy the latest PlayStation 4 console and understand it between the PS4 or the PS4 Pro, and today's video might convince you. So if you do enjoy today's video, then be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts regarding the PS4 boost mode. Do you have a PlayStation 4 Pro? Currently, I have a PS4 Pro. I absolutely love it. And what console do you currently have? Are you a PC gamer, Xbox guy, PlayStation guy? Please let me know. So the first thing to talk about is this PS4 boost mode. Matt, what is it? Well, I did an update video a few days ago. There'll be a link, guys, down below for you guys to go and check out the latest upcoming brand new system update coming to PlayStation 4. Pretty much has some amazing new features. So check out that video first, and then come back to this video or watch this video, and then check out that video afterwards. There will be a link, guys, down below. But PS4 boost mode might be able to convince you to buy the PlayStation. 4 Pro. Now this feature is only available on the PlayStation 4 Pro. So in short, what is this boost mode map? Well, when boost mode is enabled on your PlayStation 4 Pro, it will allow additional performance for non-patched games for the PlayStation 4 Pro. And what boost mode will try and do is try and optimize and stabilize the performance for games to reach their target frame rates as well as the games with unlocked frame rates. However, you won't see miracles with older titles but should see an improvement with the gameplay FPS. For example, Destiny is capped at 30 FPS and you'll see no improvement from the PS4 to the PS4 Pro. However, some developers define the performance of a game on a console to 30 FPS to 60 FPS but some games still can't keep a consistent FPS rate so with the PS4 boost mode this should help games reach their max performance. For example, a game might say, right, our target is 30 FPS, but if you play it on the Xbox One or the PS4, it might be running at 24 FPS. So by enabling PS4 boost mode on the PS4 Pro, it'll use the additional performance and hopefully get to the target FPS rate of 30 or so. So Eurogamer ran a few tests on 10 games showing the before and after performance using the PS4 boost mode. There will be a link, guys, down below to the article for you guys to go and check out. But it's pretty incredible what they've tested what the increase is, and what I've done is I've worked out the percentage to give you guys a percentage as well of the increased performance between the PS4 base and the PS4 Pro. So we have 10 games which Eurogamer tested. The first game is Knack. So on the PS4 base, so standard PlayStation 4, it's running at 36 FPS. Boost mode is 42 FPS. However, Knack have brought out a patch update for the PS4 Pro is now producing 55 frames per second, which provides us with a 35% increase in performance, which is pretty good, right? Now, the next game is Assassin's Creed Unity. So on the PlayStation 4, it's running at 22 FPS. On boost mode, it is running 30 FPS. That's a 27% increase. Now, Battlefield 4 64 player multiplayer gameplay on the PS4, it runs at 48 FPS. And on the PlayStation 4 Pro, it runs at 60 FPS, which is a 20% increase in performance. Bioshock Infinite on the PlayStation 4 is running at 51 FPS. With boost mode, it's running at 60 FPS, so that's a 15% increase. Killzone Shadow Fall on the PlayStation 4 is running at 35 FPS. Boost mode is 40 FPS, that shows us a 12.5 increase. So the next game we have is Mighty Number no. 9, which on the PlayStation 4 is 47 FPS. With boost mode, it's 60 FPS, which is a 22% increase in performance. The next game is Mirror's Edge Catalyst, running on the PlayStation 4 is 57 FPS. On the PlayStation 4 Pro, it's running at 60 FPS, so a very small increase of 5%. Project Cars on the PlayStation 4, it's 40.5 FPS. With boost mode, it's 55.5 FPS, which gives us a 27% increase. The next game we have is Shantae. So on the PlayStation 4, 50 FPS. On the PlayStation 4 Pro with boost mode, it's 60 FPS, which gives us a 17% increase in performance. The final game, Tomb Raider Definite Edition. On the PlayStation 4, 55 FPS with boost mode, 60 FPS, which gives us a 8.4% increase. So hopefully that gives you some indication on how the PlayStation 4 boost mode works. Boost mode has been designed to provide a better performance for those titles 
which have not been patched for the PS4 Pro to use the extra performance of the faster CPU and the faster GPU. So let me know your thoughts, guys, down below. Do you have a PlayStation 4 Pro? Do you have a PS4? Do you have an Xbox PC? Please let me know. And has this video convinced you or this feature, the PlayStation 4 Boost Mode, will this convince you to buy a PS4 Pro? Now, I think it's a pretty cool feature and especially some games which haven't been patched for the PS4 Pro and just to give you guys some additional information on that so some games have not been patched for the PS4 Pro so if you have a normal game for example like Project Cars it will play exactly the same on the PS4 and on the PS4 Pro however the PS4 Pro has additional performance you're like hang on a sec why is this game not optimizing itself for the PlayStation 4 Pro's additional performance and the developer might be like ah you know it's fine so what PlayStation are doing is sort of like meeting in the middle and be like right we have a special feature and we will basically provide this game with the best performance it can possible using our latest hardware and all that kind of jazz so yeah that's pretty much what the ps4 boost mode is let me know your thoughts guys down below but if you have enjoyed today's video then be sure to put a massive thumbs up subscribe if you're new comment down below your thoughts regarding the playstation 4 pro but as always have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in my next video adios chaps boom